Hey everyone, it's Ian here with Nostalgic Games and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've had a really productive week, but I am pretty exhausted. Between my full-time job, managing two YouTube channels, my two dogs, and going with my friend to the gym, I hardly have any ample me time, and I definitely have not been on a vacation in quite some time. So this had me thinking, when in doubt, live vicariously through your sims. So today, we're going to do just that and take our sims on vacation with the Sims Vacation Expansion Pack. This expansion pack was part of the original franchise and it was released back in 2002. Now unfortunately, at the time of its release, this was an expansion pack that I never had the opportunity of playing with. It wasn't until I got The Sims Complete Collection that I finally had access to this pack. And in all honesty, it's probably one of the expansion packs that I have the least amount of experience with. So this is going to be fun for not only you, but for me too. So without further ado, let's dive into the game and take one of my pre-made families on vacation. And of course, since it's The Sims 1 and you never know what's going to go down in this game, let's see what kind of mischief and mayhem we can get ourselves into. Alright, so today we are going to be playing with the Holiday family. I thought that that was a really fitting name for them since they're going to go on vacation. And if you have played The Sims 1, this house might look familiar. It's one of the starter homes that comes with either the base game or maybe live in large. I don't quite remember. Um, but I tried to give it a little bit of a makeover. Now, originally I was trying to go with like a mid-century modern type of home, but that was not achievable. <laughs> in fact, I think I actually did a really good job of making it look incredibly dated. But, you know, it's really hard to find modern furniture in this game because it came out back in the year 2000. All in all though, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I really love this family and I'm excited to play with them and to take them on a vacation. So we have Martin here. He works as a junior officer in the military career. We have Annette here who is a news reporter and their daughter Luis who is an A- student. Martin and Luis are at work and school currently and I believe Annette has a really weird shift. But when Martin and Luis come home, we're going to go ahead and call up a shuttle and take them to Vacation Island. And by the way, there is still custom content that you can download online for The Sims 1, which I think is pretty amazing. I mean, some of these sites have been around for like over 20 years. Um, this furniture in here is for Luisa's room. I know that she's a little girl and she probably doesn't need a big bed, but I wanted to furnish it nicely. And all of this furniture was downloaded online, as well as the furniture in the master suite as well. Everything you see here is pretty much custom contents, as well as the living room furniture as well. So um, custom content in The Sims 1 is something that I'm just experiencing for the first time. I never downloaded custom content when I originally had the game. I was a 12 year old kid and I didn't really understand how to do it. And at the time I was probably pretty paranoid of getting a virus because a lot of viruses existed back then. Um, so I'm just now getting into it and I'm having so much fun with it because I'm pretty impressed with how much content there is. I think out of any of The Sims games that probably by far The Sims 1 has the most downloadable content available created by fans, which is really cool. All right, so it's almost three o'clock and I think that, yep, Martin just got off work and Luis should be getting back from school. Perfect, perfect timing. Martin is quite tired, it looks like, and he's not in the greatest mood and his energy is pretty low and Louise is pretty low as well. So I'm gonna let you guys know a little secret here. Um, if it wasn't for these cheats that I have recently discovered, I probably would not enjoy playing The Sims 1. The Sims 1 drains needs so fast. And I think that's one of the things that makes this game so hard. In the newer games, especially The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, their needs are more autonomous and they will take care of them themselves. Whereas in The Sims 1, it's kind of the constant challenge of having to fill needs, hunger, energy, fun, social, etc. Now, if I'm understanding correctly, mods did not exist in The Sims 1. However, you could download objects with hacked actions in them. So for example, this coffee pot you see over here, I actually downloaded online. And if Martin drinks from this coffee pot, something really cool is actually going to happen. So let's check that out. First, he needs to wake up, which is pretty annoying. So look at his needs once he takes a few sips. 
they're suddenly starting to go up. <laughs> I call this the magical coffee pot. I don't know what the actual name is of it. Um, I can't select it currently because it's in use. However, I downloaded this online and this is known as a quote unquote hacked object. And basically what this does is it cheats needs. And the cool thing is, is there's quite a bit of different hacked objects that we have access to. Another one that I really like is this little bush here. And this is called No Paper Please. Putting up this sign somewhere outdoors will tell the paper girl you don't want any newspapers and she will stop coming. So I guess what I'm trying to show here is that you can actually make The Sims 1 enjoyable by cheating needs. Obviously the testing cheats enabled true cheats did not exist back then. So I just put these coffee pots on every possible lot that I can. I've even put them in areas on Vacation Island. So that way we can focus mainly on gameplay and not have to worry so much about needs, which I'm really excited about. All right, so now that I've given you my little spiel as to how I cheat needs, Let's go ahead and have Martin call up the shuttle so this family can go on vacation. Vacation Island Tours. Thank you for calling Vacation Island Tours. Would you like to take advantage of our current island getaway package? Why, yes we would. All right, so it says, going on vacation will save the house in its current condition and prevent you from returning until the vacation is over. Are you sure you want to leave the house? Yes. So quick fun fact, in The Sims 1, if you visit any type of community lot, the, the lots on Hot Date, which are in downtown, or for Superstar, Studio Town, you can't save the game while you're there. Going on vacation, you can finally save the game away from home. So I believe this is the only expansion pack in the entire Sims 1 franchise that lets you save the game outside of your house. All right. The shuttle is here. I love that none of them have luggage. They're just walking to the van. Uh, I guess there's luggage, you know, here on the top. Maybe that's kind of implied it's theirs. We've got a little surfboard sticking out here in the back. I forgot how annoying the honking is in this game. The cars always just honk nonstop. All right, here is Vacation Island. The music is really loud. So we have quite a few places that we can choose from. We have the snowy cap mountains out here. In the middle, we have a campground. And down below, we have the beach. I think to start, we're gonna go here in the very top right to Alpine's Winter Wonderland. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, this music is so funny. The yodeling music in the background. So we are definitely in a snowy location, which is really cool. Um, you know, did seasons really exist in The Sims 1? Not really, but they do in Vacation Island. So here in the snow, the whole family is actually wearing winter wear. And if I'm not mistaken, I have taken them on vacation in the past and we bought different winter wear clothing items. I believe that there are default clothes that everyone wears. And if you want to change them, you can come here to these little stores and buy different winter wear items. And we will just to show you guys um, buy some new clothing just so you can see the options and see what I'm talking about here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have Annette shop for some more winter wear items and I'm going to have Martin check in at the hotel. It is 120 simoleons per night and if I'm not mistaken I think we can kind of just use any room we want. I don't think that these will vacate with other NPCs or anything. I don't think that other people will be using these rooms like they do in The Sims 2 or in the other games. Um, I think it's kind of free game once we check in we can use any of these. Um, or I should say we help. We will have access to any of these rooms here. So the 120 a night just covers, you know, the room fee. And there is also a buffet here as well for grabbing food. However, I do believe that we are charged per meal for that. So just keep that in mind if you're budgeting for vacation. I forgot that there's these little mascots that populate in each vacation destination. And over here we have Betty Yeti. Annette over here is looking for some winter wear clothing. I kind of have her in this sexy outfit over here, but we have the opportunity of really purchasing any kind of outfit we would want. 
I believe this is the default outfit. So if you don't take your Sims on vacation or it's your first time taking them on vacation and you want to change their clothing, you will have to purchase one of these outfits. But I do like the one that Annette is already wearing, so we're just gonna keep that. Thanks for choosing to stay with us. We value your patronage and hope you enjoy our award-winning service. Please be courteous and check out promptly in the morning. Okay, I thought we could check out at noon, but it looks like we have to check out in the morning. And if I'm not mistaken, if we don't check out promptly, we'll be charged for another night. Now, one thing that is cool is vacations in The Sims 1 are limitless. In The Sims 2, I think you select a duration of time for your vacation. I think it might be anywhere from two to five days. And I think that's similar with the other Sims games as well. I think in The Sims 1, you can kind of just stay here indefinitely if you wanted and you had the money to. So that's kind of interesting. The Sims 1 also does not have days of the week. As you can see, it just says PM 136. There are no days of the week and everyone goes to work every day of the week and kids go to school every day of the week. So really, the only way you can have time off in The Sims 1 is to literally go on vacation, which I think is kind of funny. It looks like we can grab some souvenirs as well. A land grab nutcracker, Patrick the Patchaderm, and Unicorn by Fran Tassi. I think we're gonna go ahead and buy a nutcracker. And if you guys can see here, I placed one of the coffee pots on this lot so we can cheat needs. Annette's needs are already going down. Louise and Martin are doing pretty good. I always forgot too how in-depth The Sims 1 always was on item descriptions. I mean, she's purchasing this one item and we have basically an essay to read about it. It's kind of funny. Aw, she's getting a hug from the Yeti. How cute. Look at this kid dancing over here. <laughs> Looks like we have Martin playing some games. This is funny. Oh, we have a pet bathing station here. So if you have pets, you can actually obviously then take your pets on vacation, which is cool. And it's also actually really cool to see that there's a crossover between expansion packs. That was something I really appreciated about The Sims 1 and The Sims 2 is that they were so good about incorporating crossovers, whereas Sims 3 and Sims 4, not so much. All right, so what kind of outdoor activities are available? I do remember that there's snowboarding here. And it looks like we have maybe a ski slope or a slide. And we also have an ability to do some snowball fights. Let's go ahead and have Martin and Louise here have a snowball fight. And I'm gonna have Annette do some snowboarding. Oh, there's Martin right there. It looks like he's already taken up some snowboarding on his own. Ah, uh, yes, and we have vacation director Kana, Kana, I can't pronounce her name, but uh, she gives us tips and insights if we want any additional information about Vacation Island, which we'll probably chat with her in a little bit. All right, we're having a snowball fight over here. Martin and Louise against Babette. What a name. Her name's Babette? Oh man, epic fail, Annette. Doesn't look like you're doing too good on the ski slopes over here. That actually looks really scary. Oh my gosh, she's like a pro. <laughs> this is funny. Oh man, not bad, not bad at all. Another thing that we can do is we can actually rent some items over here from a rental shack, Zach. Oh, never mind, he closed, it's five. Ugh, that's annoying when things close. So it looks like you can't actually ski, oh, that's cool. Yeah, this I thought this was a ski slope, but he's just sliding down it. So there's the slide and there's the snowboarding. Oh, this opened back up again, yay. So we can rent a picnic basket, a metal detector, or a snowman kit. Let's pull the snowman, that would be fun. Oh, how cute. That is so cool. I didn't know that like family joint interactions like this existed in this game. Oh, and you even get the little cutscene in the bottom right hand corner. How cute. Aw. That's cool. I don't remember seeing this at all in the game. They built a little snowman as a family. How cute. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and have everyone turn in for the night, and I want to be sure that they check out promptly tomorrow morning because I think maybe we can spend some time here in the morning and then go check out another lot. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out. I love that there's like a guest book here. Really reminds you of how old this game is. Oh my gosh, and she's literally signing it, so funny. Thank you for staying with us. We appreciate your business. We know that all visitors have a wide variety of choices and we recognize your decision to choose us. Enjoy the rest of your stay on our island and come back soon. All right, we're on our way to another lot. I love that Martin here just decides to wear his PJs. That's so funny. It's also a little annoying that they just like don't dress themselves sometimes. Luis here is in her PJs too out in the snow. They aren't very smart. All right, maybe we will check out the Penguin Acres Campgrounds. Check out one more place here up in the snow. Oh, so this lot has igloos. This is cool. And you can rent them for the night. Oh yes, and the infamous carnival. I forgot about this. This is like the main highlight of going on vacation is playing games and earning tickets so you can win prizes. <laughs> oh, the clown's head gets bigger the more water they shoot through. That's funny. All right, looks like a net one. She got eight tokens. All right, I'm gonna have Martin here practice some archery. Let's see what happens. I'm excited to test this out. Nope, not very good, Martin. Not very good at all. <laughs> and we can redeem some prizes over here. Let's go ahead and have Louise redeem a prize. Let's have her get a baby doll. She has 110 tokens, now she has 25. Oh, it looks like a little cutie doll, how cute. Looks like we can get a campfire going, and you know what? We might as well just spend a night in an igloo. Why not? Let's rent for the night. Let's see what all we can do at the campfire. Oh, she's gonna get out the guitar and they're gonna sing some campfire songs. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what that song is supposed to resemble. Apparently, Luis finds her mother and father singing very funny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have them all turn in for the night. And we'll check out the next morning and go somewhere else. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and check out this woodland forest area next here in the middle. We'll go ahead and check out the Bear Essentials Lodge. We will need to check in, obviously. Ooh, and we can play some volleyball. We have to rent that, of course. A lot of things you have to rent on vacation. We have a buffet here where we can eat our meals. I think we can even rent fishing poles and go fishing in the lake, which is nice. And I believe we have another mascot here now that we are at another travel destination. We have Archie Archer. He kind of looks like Robin Hood in my opinion, but really cool. The animation on this is pretty smooth. For a game that's 20 years old, this is actually pretty cool to watch. Doing some archery again. Martin isn't very good at this. <laughs> now it's husband versus wife. <laughs> oh, and daughter. All right, I am gonna have Martin do some fishing really quick. I wanna check this out. I don't really remember fishing that much in The Sims 1. He caught a fish, imagine that, wow, nice dinner. He threw it back in? What the hell? Do they not actually like keep the fish? That's dumb. All right, time to leave this woody area and go somewhere else. Let's go to the beach. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out the beach resort now. Palazzo Palms Hotel, an island historic landmark. Let's go there. Once again, we have two of them in their PJs, so silly. What kind of questions can we ask Canna here? Ask about weather, island shuttle, vacation, what are vacation awards? Our special awards program? We like to encourage a positive vibe on the island. Families and individuals who exhibit outstanding moods and attitude while on the island are eligible for our golden awards. We'll be keeping tabs on visitors, so remember to keep your chin up, enjoy our games and facilities, and don't forget to socialize. Good luck. 
All right, we've done pretty much everything that we'd need to do to get an award except for socialize. So maybe we need to like be social with other people, which is something we really haven't done. But there's like literally no one on the lot right now aside from the maid. This is a cool lot. I do remember this one. And yes, we have the boardwalk here with some of the games that we had before. Oh, and we have a cool Easter egg here. For those of you who don't know, this looks like Will Wright, who is actually the creator of The Sims. He is the genius behind this game. He was also very involved with the production of The Sims 2, and I believe he retired after The Sims 2. I don't think he went on to create The Sims 3, and I bet he really regrets how The Sims 4 ended up. <laughs> All right, we're, we are going to go ahead and check in. Also, 120 simoleons a night. Not bad, not bad at all. Again, this was 2002. Things were different back then. Wow, we got an award. Congratulations. On behalf of Vacation Island Beach Promotion Relations Bureau, we would like to present you with the Golden Sun Award for your family's outstanding exemplification of the fun in the sun our island is famous for. Who got the award? Oh, Martin has it. The Golden Sun Award. Cool. I believe we'll be able to like put it on display once we get home. This expansion pack has been a lot of fun. Again, this is one that I hadn't played with a lot as a kid because I never owned it when I played the original Sims games. I started playing The Sims at the tail end of 2003, which was right before the launch of The Sims 2. So I only had the base game, Superstar, Make and Magic, and Unleash. Those were the only expansion packs I ever had. And then I think quite a few years later, like in 2007 or 2008, I coughed up like the 40 bucks and I got the complete collection. But I only played it a few times and that was my only exposure to vacation. But this is fun. I forgot how two-dimensional the pools are in The Sims 1. <laughs> so funny. All right, maybe we'll try our luck at a few more games so we can take at least one more souvenir home. I think it's funny that we have to play all these games and spend all this money to get tokens to get souvenirs to take home. <laughs> Martin has 85 prize tokens already, so he might be able to get something nice. Is this a chicken toss? What is this? <laughs> so Martin has a squirrel, wood squirrel figurine. Annie has the Golden Sun Award. Louise has the little baby Cupid doll. And Annette has nothing. What can Annette get? She doesn't have enough tokens to get anything. I guess we'll play a few more games with Annette. And then that way, every family member got a souvenir to take home. Ooh, I want to play this one. Nice. All right, and Annette now has a coconut monkey made out of coconut shells. Cool. Everyone has a prize. Everyone is a winner. Oh, I forgot we can buy postcards. Let's do that. We'll get a island summit postcard, a beach postcard, and a forest postcard. And we'll also buy these other two souvenirs. On some of the lots, they have a mailbox. So you can actually like mail the postcards to your friends. Well, let's go check out one last beach lot, and then I think that this family's vacation is going to be entirely complete. Sunset Beach, a romantic little corner on the island. Let's check out this place really quick. Oh, we have little tents here. This is nice. They could have gone camping out here, too. All right, well, this is a cool little destination, a lot smaller than where we were previously. I love that everyone's just in pink bikinis. <laughs> uh, and they're all in the same swimming outfits. I didn't buy them new swimwear. Whoops. There's Marky Sharky again doing a hoedown. These mascots like to do hoedowns. Ah, there is the post box where we can mail our cards to friends. We'll send one to Tiffany Burb. We'll send one to Cornelia Goth. And we'll send one to Marcus. And it boosted her relationships with all those people. That's nice. Looks like Martin is uh, making a friend in the jacuzzi. Well, all in all, I would say that this has been a pretty successful and fun family vacation. I think the last thing we need to do is to send the holiday family back home. 
and then we can check out all the cool gifts and souvenirs that they got. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little display shelf so everyone can proudly display their items here in the main part of the home. <laughs> Annette's just jumping into bed. I guess they're all tired. They had a very productive vacation. And if I remember correctly, they can click on these interactions and it says, remember, and they can hold their little items and reminisce about the time they had on vacation. It looks like they had a good time. I had a good time too. This is a really fun expansion pack. It's been a really long time since I've played with Vacation and the original Sims 1 game. Definitely still fun and definitely still worth playing 20 years later. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a big favor by liking it. That really helps my channel to grow. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I have new gameplay videos of old games coming out every week. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.